What's going on, everybody? Hope you guys all have an amazing day. In this video, I'm going to be doing my draft report on Keontae George. Um, we're not doing it. I already did it. I'm just going to be showing you guys and what I think. Um, before we get started, make sure to subscribe. We're on the road to 500. As of right now, we're at like 360 around there. Um, and also, I know a lot of people aren't going to like what I have to say in this video because I know there's a lot of Keontae George fans. And I'm not as high as a lot of people as, you know, as much as other people, basically. Um, but enough being said, let's get right into it. First positive, he has shown some signs of being a very tough shot maker and a solid shooter overall. Um, the efficiency isn't quite there, but he has shown the signs. Uh, so I'm not as concerned. I think I'm more concerned than most people. I think most people think he's going to be a good shooter. I'm not 100% there yet. I would give it a 60% chance he'll be a solid shooter. Um, I'm just, yeah, I'm just not there. It may be 70, but I'm, I'm not a hundred percent sure. I think most people around the 85 that they think he's going to be a good shooter. Um, here you're going to see though, he kind of, he retreats and then he crossovers basically a one dribble pull up from the three point line. Very elite shot. Um, he also picks it up with the right hand, which a lot of righties don't like to do. going to talk about that a little bit later. Um, next he's shown some signs of being a solid finisher. He's not white where I would want him to be as a finisher around the rim, but uh, he has shown some flashes that makes me think he will be a pretty solid finisher. Nothing crazy or elite, but you know, good enough, I think. Um, left hand lay off the backboard, same foot, same hand, very elite layup. Um, next, he also has a pretty solid floater, not too bad actually. Um, I didn't know he really had this in the back until I started watching his film. Like, obviously, I knew about Keontae George, but his floater is pretty tough. He has good touch on it. Boom, float, very elite shot. If he could have that in his bag, if he could have a solid, you know, layup uh, finishing at the rim and a floater in a three and a little bit mid-range, he'll, he'll be tough. That obviously sounds like a lot, you know, the whole entire area. But that's what he's going to have to do. Um, next, I really like that he's comfortable picking the ball up with both hands. Like I said, not too long ago, like probably a minute ago, maybe. Um, most righties like to pick the ball up with their left hand and shoot it. It's just naturally more comfortable. Left Lefties usually like to pick it up with their right hand and shoot it. It's just more comfortable for people. Um, I'm the same way when I shoot the ball. So um, maybe you guys are a little bit different, but from what I've seen, I work with 200 plus kids a week at the Loop House. So it's just what I see. Um, so the fact that he's able to do it very comfortably, uh, it's very promising to me. A lot of people like someone, it's going to sound like I'm throwing shots, but a big reason I wasn't huge on Cam Thomas because he turns so much and the way he shoots the ball, he can't really shoot a pull up going right. But this isn't a problem for Keontae George. He shoots the ball, picking it up with his right hand, going to the right, just as good as left hand going to the left. So I think that's pretty promising. It's something I love to see uh, when a player is a scorer. When they're a scorer, I want to see them be able to do everything, go both ways. Um, next, he uses off ball screens pretty well. Um, he like knows when to flare curl. Eh, sometimes not curl, actually. I, I, not yet curl. Um, but he flares the screens pretty well. He sees that the defender goes around, so he flares it a little bit. Hits a jumper. Very nice. Um, a skill that he's going to need in the NBA. Um, next, we can look at the room for improvements. His shot selection especially forces shots early in the shot clock. I just, I'm not a fan of. He does that a lot. Um, this game, they won this game the first round of the tournament against UCSB. You guys see here, oh, I don't know if you can see, I might be in the way, but there's 17 seconds on the shot clock. You see up here. Um, he's going to take this shot. Like why? Maybe he thought he was going to get fouled. I don't know, but this is just one example. There, I'm going to be honest. There's a lot of examples of him just taking shots so early for no reason. Um, it's just, it's something he's going to have to work on. Uh, I kind of compare him to Jaden Hardy, kind of, but when Jaden Hardy was in the G League, Jaden Hardy took some really bad shots, like really, really bad shots. Um, if you didn't watch his film, you probably didn't see it, because I'm going to be honest, a lot of people just like to watch highlights. That's something that genuinely frustrates me. I can't even lie to you. Um, that's why I do these, to show people the good and the bad, because... It's not always good. Unfortunately, I wish the best for these players, but it's not always good. Um, he's also inconsistent of what you're going to get, if I'm being completely honest. Like, uh, I was looking through his points 
um, it would be 24, 27, 2, 14, 10, 27, 0. And it was just, it was just pretty inconsistent. And some of the games, he would have 24, 27. He'd be 5 for 19. He'll be 4 for 16. Like, that's not good efficiency. Um, so that's something that kind of concerning to me. Because when I like to look at players, I like to know what I'm going to get. And I'm going to be honest. I have Casson Wallace above him. I think Casson Wallace is better. But that's because I know what I'm going to get from Casson Wallace. I know he's going to try on defense. And he has promising potential to be a good jumper. But he's not going to turn the ball over and he'll play defense. I know I'm getting that. But from Keontae Johnson, I'm not totally sure what I'm going to get from him every game. Um, next, his passing. His passing is just not great yet if i'm being completely honest with you um you're gonna see here he gets the ball and or sorry whoa 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 whoa, 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 whoa. wrong play wrong play wrong play wrong play wrong play i don't know how i know this earlier i think it's this play um why was that that play? where is it no this is not what i wanted this is what is this what is this Next one I'm going to talk about is his passing. He's not a great passer yet, if I'm being completely honest with you. Um, you're going to see here. Oh, I think this is. No, no, no. This not the one. Um, this one. You're going to see here. He's going to throw this pass. It's just a bad pass, if I'm being honest. <laughs> like, he just comes here, and then he just throws it. And then what really frustrates me is just seeing his body length. Like, you see him. He just puts his head up. He's frustrated. And, like, it's, that's stuff I don't like to see. Like, you can't show teams that you can get frustrated like that because basketball is such a long game. I don't know if you can really tell, but it's four and a half minutes up to the first half. Um, and they're down six. They lost this game. Um, so just, like, bad energy and stuff like that is, like, it really gets me. It frustrates me, if I'm being honest with you. It just, it really does. Um, I think that was, the, this is, deep. yeah, I don't want defense yet. Um, he's not great in transition yet, too. Um... You're gonna see right here he's gonna get the ball and then like when he sped up in transition it just it doesn't go his way um like i was looking at synergy and it said synergy is all statistics by the way like so don't take it too too serious but it definitely it helps like um but it said he was below average like he was pretty bad at in transition so i was you know very curious on why so i spent a lot actually spent probably a little bit more time than i should have uh, on his transition clips and when he sped up it just doesn't look great for him because he's pretty tunnel vision and he just doesn't have the passing instincts yet uh, next i'm gonna talk about his defense his defense is not very good but this first play is showing that he has the potential to be a good defender you're gonna see here hands up slides his feet takes a charge stuff like that amazing absolutely love to see that but then you're gonna see clips here of where he's just not trying on defense you see here he's not very engaged he's like he didn't he's not the tag man he's not supposed to be we're gonna see here he just jumps on this pump fake and then it's just completely taken out of the play you know a lot of coaches like to teach um why am i blanking um uh, um closeouts closeout 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 chop your feet and he he just he didn't close out uh there's two more I'm going to show you. This is, I believe, the same game. Um, yeah, this is like the next play. Uh, not next play. Quite a couple possessions. But you're going to see here, he doesn't close out again. Like, he doesn't even get a hand up. Like, not even a hand up. He doesn't He doesn't run very hard. Like, this is March Madness. This is, if you lose, you're done. So you rather put all your energy out and win and then play another game than put no energy out and lose and then not play another game. That's the way I look at it. And then here, this is another one. Same half. Now they're down. They're down with eight. Um, you're going to see here. He like, he gets a hand up kind of, but he's just like jogging. He's very, con I don't know, he looks confused in my opinion. Like, uh, one of the things I like to tell players is in transition, this kind of secondary fast break, um, 
you can't just be focused on your man. You have to see who is open. But you see here, he's just, he's focused on his man. He's like, all right, I got my man. But this guy, he has to help. Why does he have to help? Because if he doesn't, this is a layup. So Keontae George can't just be focused on his man. You have to be in this middle area. Get back on defense. Right here, you got to get back, get back, get back. So that if he's right here, he's able to sprint towards uh, Arthur Kaluma, or he gets sprint right here to Trey Alexander. But he just, look how far he was. He has to make up all this distance. Doesn't even sprint, if I'm being completely honest. Um... Uh, but he tr I guess he tries to get a hand up, kind of. But he just wasn't in the right area. Just not a good sign. Um, now, for the draft range, I think he could go anywhere from 12 to 20. Not he can. I think 12 to 20 is the right area, in my opinion, where he should be going. Um, anything above that, I think is just not good. I, I think that you're reaching a little bit for him. And then anything after that, I believe is a steal. If you get him after that, I think that's a steal. But I don't think he'll go later than that. And I think he might go uh, before top 12, um, which I think is reaching. Um, his ceiling is just an elite scorer. He's very elite at putting that ball in the hoop. Um, Floor is a below average scorer off the bench. Um, and honestly, this could lead... like. People aren't going to like this, but I have to say it. This could lead to, if his scoring doesn't translate, he could be out the NBA, which I, I hope doesn't happen. I don't want to speak that into existence, but I'm also honest. I am not going to sit here and lie to people. Um, so his scoring definitely has to translate, which I hope it does. Um, and I think, it, I think it will. You see here, my prediction, I think he's a solid scorer off the bench. Uh, a little bit lesser of a Jordan Clarkson. Obviously, he's bigger. Um, I don't think he'll ever be a very good defender, but I think he'll be a solid scorer off the bench. Um, final report, I'm not as high on Keontae George as the majority of people that do draft work or pay attention to college basketball. I'm scared his game will not translate, and if his jumper does not come along, I'm scared he cannot be in the NBA very long. I could see him going somewhere like Washington where the spotlight is not on him the whole time and learn from a scorer like Bradley Beal. The NBA is all about opportunity and situations, but I think it is even more important for Keontae. Now, like I said, a bunch of this video, you guys probably won't agree with me. That is totally okay. I'm just voicing my opinion and I'm doing my draft work. You guys honestly should should too. If you, if you really have an opinion, you want people to know, you should do your work and voice it. That's the way I look at it. Um, I'm not going to say if you don't do your work, don't voice your opinion. Um, I think it's kind of weird if you do, but, um, I respect people. I respect everybody. So if you think something that goes along with what I say, let me know. If you go something that doesn't go along with what I say, let me know. It don't matter to me. I like hearing what people have to say. But besides that, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you guys did, make sure to leave a like and subscribe. I'm going to catch you guys next time. Peace.